Hi, my name is Samantha Pamen. I'll be talking about the food psychosexual and Erickson psychosocial stages. There are six stages within these, and the first stage is birth to one year. This stage is for feed the oil. Oral stage when children or infants are learning to use the mouth, use your have teeth, t lips, tongue, everything, and they are looking to be fed pretty much. For Erickson, this is the trust versus mistrust stage, and this is when the baby learns to trust whether the parents are going to feed them and care for them, or if they're going to mistrust their parents, mistrust everyone, and feel that they're not going to treat them well enough to suit their basic needs. The second stage is from one year to three years old. And that, for free, this is the anal stage when they should be learning how to be toilet trained. And for Erickson, this is the autonomy versus shame and doubt stage. This is when um, children should be kind of self-sufficient when they're walking, talking, using the toilet, other things like that. Um, and if they aren't able to do that on their own, they kind of feel like they doubt what they're able to do for themselves and they doubt whether they, they can actually go, they can walk, they can talk like other kids their age can do. Then there is the third stage, which is three years old to six years old. This is, I believe, you call it the phallic stage for free. And this stage is kind of like... <laughs> It's a stage when boys find out they have penises and they like them, and then girls, I guess, wonder whether they don't, like, why they don't have one, I guess? And for Erickson, this is what he calls the initiate, initiate, initiative versus guilt stage. And this stage is when they, like, should be doing other abilities, and um, I guess parents should be setting some boundaries for the kids. And if they don't, it's kind of like they feel guilty, I guess. It's like adventurous force guilt is what it says. Um, and then there is the fourth stage, which is actually kind of my favorite, which is from your um, six-year-olds to 11 years old. For Freed, he believes this is a latency stage, and he believes it's not really a stage at all. Um, he thinks kind of this is when everything should be happening for schoolwork and friendships and stuff like that. Um, for Erickson though, this is the industry versus inferiority. In infer inferiority? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, and this is when children should be mastering skills for themselves and being able to do things on their own and, you know, just ha start having their own lives outside of their parents. And if they don't have this, then they feel like they're unable to do well for themselves, and they just feel like they're not able to just communicate themselves. And this is a really big thing for this stage, because if they don't get past that and they feel like they're not able to do stuff, then they can't continue on to the next stage. The next stage is the adolescent stage. This stage for Freed is the genital stage when they should be building intimacy and having, you know, stimulations and relationships and everything like that. And, but for X, and this is the identity versus role confusion stage. And this is a very important stage for Erickson because it's vastly different from Freed's stage. Because Erickson states that this stage is when a adolescents should be questioning who they are as a person. And when they question who they are as a person, they should be asking themselves, like, who am I? What am I supposed to be doing? What are their sexual orientations? What are all these things? Religious, political, all of these things. And when they ask themselves this, they should be able to come up with some sort of answer. And if they don't, then that is role confusion. And when you get role confusion, then that can become very difficult to move into the adulthood stage. So this stage, the adolescent stage, is very important for children. And then you come to the adulthood stage. Now this stage for Freed is kind of different because Freed believes that the general stage becomes, continues into adulthood. And he um, says that everyone should be able to con like, continue on with their life at this point. For Erickson, he has other stages. This is the intimacy versus isolation stage that he believes continues on. 
but this is also for other like for older people this the intimate sorry intimacy versus isolation is for a young adult when they should be seeking companionship and having you know all this love and everything but if they don't then you get that isolation from them. And when they get isolated, then they can't move to the next stage, which the next stage would be middle age adults. And this is the generative or stagnation stage. Now this stage is when middle adults should be, you know, having children, contributing to work, and just kind of starting to get control and have control of their life at this point. But if they don't, then this is where the stagnation kind of comes in. They're just, just kind of stagnant. They're there. They're just kind of, they're just going through the, the role at this point. They're just kind of, they're just going. Um, and then there's the integrity versus despair stage for AXM. Now this stage is for the older adults. And this stage can be very good or very bad sometimes. This stage is when the adult, older adults make sense of their life and they just kind of see life as a wonderful thing it's meaningful they've you know accomplished everything they want in their life or you have the other side of it and they didn't accomplish everything that they wanted to they didn't get the goals that they wanted they didn't they weren't able to accomplish everything that they wanted to so they're kind of just in despair and they wish they could go back and change some things now, this is everything that, um, you know, I've kind of looked up and seen, and I hope you liked it, and I'm sorry for the lighting and everything. This was the best I got, and I hope you love my video.